Welcome back to the International Wealth Builders Association.com radio show and podcast. If you want to call in with your questions or comments at 888-909-1050. That's 888-909-1050. I'm Patrick Hunter. I'm your host. Uh, I am a coach, a trainer, a real estate broker, an investment coach. I'm, I'm very, very adept at creative financing and how to put deals together. I call myself a deal engineer. So that means that if it can possibly do, be done, I'll find a way to do it. And uh, I can't tell you, like some of the deals I talked about that I fixed last year was one of the houses that I sold. The people bought it, and uh, they wrote a contract on it, and they did the, the termite report, and there was around $7,000 worth of termite work. And at the time, this was only a three hundred and fifty thousand a three hundred seventy thousand dollar house you know uh so they had every right to walk out of that deal so what i did is i said well why don't we split the difference here why don't we do this why don't you pay a little bit more for the price and my client will credit you uh for your some of your financing and you can use that money for the repairs later on the guy happened to be a contractor and wanted to do the work himself which if you're the homeowner you're more than welcome to do that if you're the homeowner you can be your own contractor you can be your own agent it's not advisable but you can do it uh material costs that's the other thing that's come down if you don't want to do flips and stuff not that there's a lot of flips in the area so many houses have been flipped and and redone it's hard to find a really good deal right now but uh, and lumber prices were this skyrocketed but they've come down again 40 percent from where they were seven months ago so if lumber has come down 40 percent and building materials have come down 30 roughly 30 percent since seven months ago uh, the supply chain is still an issue getting stuff i still go to the different stores and see empty shelves that's uh, that's things that are also a problem and uh, one of the things that, that is not going to go away is the inflation is not going to go anywhere anytime soon. The government is, uh, the Fed Reserve is still uh, going to keep raising rates. And uh, this is my prediction. I'm going to make my prediction right here, right now. At the end of this year, I see interest rates somewhere between seven and a half and eight. So if that happens, you're going to see a big slowdown in the market. You're going to see things happen faster. You're going to see things going crazy. On top of the supply chain, there's a big problem getting uh, additives, I guess, for diesel fuel. I don't know if anybody's heard that. But uh, that means that the trucks are going to be not able to get the diesel they need, which is going to slow down shipping even more. The ports have emptied out, like the Port of Los Angeles. They're pretty much all caught up on that. But all these things are going to affect you as a homeowner or a home buyer. But here's the thing I want to make clear. When this last crazy market, people turned their house into a speculative investment. Real estate can be an investment, and it should be. However, it shouldn't be everybody's investment. You should think of your home the way that people used to think of homes, whereas you buy one to live in, and you stay there. The average homeowner stays anywhere from three to seven years, and uh, they say that this next generation of millennials, which I have a whole, I could do two shows on the millennials. I have a couple of them myself, and I understand that nobody wants to work in construction. They're so short on construction. If there's any millennials out there that are in construction, give me a call, 888-909-1050. I want to find out what's going on. Uh, a lot of the parents that I talk to, they say their millennials don't want to work. They all want to go to college and become uh, uh, social media marketing experts. But you know what? If we don't build things, there's nothing for them to market, right? And if everybody, everybody is in social media marketing, who's left to do anything else? So uh, I, I'd be curious to find out if anybody has <laughs> any opinions on that. I especially want, would like to hear from some millennials. If you want to send me an email and tell me what you think about that, construction market why isn't it appealing to the millennials why do they want not want to go into physical labor jobs do they all was it, i mean is this a residual of helicopter parenting you know where they said no no you want to go to college but they go to college and they they pick philosophy they go to college 
and they, they, they pick social media, they go to call. I mean, you know, these, these degrees that really, they, do, they don't have a basis in, in practical life. They, you know, everybody has uh, challenges and I think that there's a whole different philosophy and mindset out there and I really am curious. I would like to know from the millennials what this is all about. And just, just so you know, the millennials are the home buyers now. The millennials are the home buyers. They're the new. They're they're a group that is actually way larger than the baby boomers, so they're the ones that are actually buying the houses now. They don't like to do things for themselves. They like to have everything done. My son is a millennial. I taught him how to do all the different trades. I taught him how to do electrical, plumbing, and everything, and he doesn't do it himself. He hires it out. He doesn't want to get his hands dirty. I am confused by that. I don't understand. I did all the stuff for him. But uh, so <laughs> that's one of the things that's challenging out there these days is that this world is a little crazier than it used to be. But real estate is still the most solid wealth builder that there is. And you need to think of it as getting your first home, then think about investing. And like I said, there's a lot of creative ways to get you in and out of a house. Uh, again, if you want to get a hold of me, you can send me an email at info at megalithic.us, info at megalithic.us. And make sure you swing by our investment group, which is internationalwealthbuildersassociation.com. We're doing our meeting next Wednesday on the 27th. Uh, come on by for our ribbon cutting with the Chamber of Commerce. That's going to be at 3 o'clock. We're going to have refreshments. And then I want you to stick around for the meeting. And I'll be there, and, and a lot of our experts will be there that you can personally come and ask questions. That's going to be at the Southwest Riverside Association of Realtor Building in Temecula, California. So if you have any questions, let us know. Get a hold of us at internationalwealthbuildersassociation.com. Uh, you can call me or send me an email at megalithic, info at megalithic.us. My company is Realty Mavericks. I'm a real estate broker licensed in California. 00891835 is my license number. And we, you can handle all your questions on real estate investing and get you up and running. Anything from a beginner on up to developers, we want to talk to you. We want you to be part of our group. We want to give you education. InternationalWealthBuildersAssociation.com. Go there and be a member while it's still affordable. Thank you for having me. I love doing this show for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and get an email out to me at info at megalithic.us. Thanks for having me, and we'll see you next time.